hello everybody and welcome back to another figure review um somewhat of a late review for me uh, mostly because i waited on this waited on this guy for a while to drop on price and i got him for about 19 bucks that seems to be the lowest he's going for now and i'm completely okay with that um he is a character i wanted to you know get a hold of and add to my collection to go along with you know iron fist and you know hasbro being hasbro they just recently you know revealed and went up for pre-order a new two-pack set um, with iron fist and luke cage himself but that luke cage has his civilian clothes which is a good look um but i did want this look as well um for the most part a lot of complaints from a lot of the youtubers i saw um do i think it's an overheated figure i think so I'm, i don't know i haven't opened him yet so once i do and you know check him out i'll see what my conclusion is but i did see a lot of hate towards this figure and i don't know i don't, I don't think it deserves all that hate with that being said um you've been seeing it in the package i'm just rotating there but you do have his name down here luke cage power man part of the marvel knights um lineup he has his own sort of logo there um which is very nice legend series you can see the figure and there are some nice art there on the side you have a read up on luke cage if you guys want to read up on him real quick but with that being said i'm gonna crack him out of the box and let's take a closer look at him all right so here we have him out of the packaging and not too many accessories to go through we do have a build a figure piece um for i forgot the name but um yeah i mean it's a build a figure piece which i'm never going to complete i don't know i really gotta sell off a lot of the build a figure pieces that i just have accumulated over the years um, but yeah this one's just gonna go into that pile with that being said we do have two extra hands here um more wide open hands which is very nice for some grabbing tossing and whatnot um just more dynamic hand gestures so that's nice he does come with two fists and overall getting the spin base out of the way i think he articulates rather well um you can look up about that much down pretty pretty far which is very nice he has some slight pivoting in there which i don't really care about i prefer the disc hinge because as you can see you do get a lot more of that range um for the neck or the head um arms go out about that much so that's very nice you do have your bicep swivel you have your double jointed arms which is nice you have a swivel here at the arms and they both hinge in and out um yeah so in and out and it's the same for the hand the alternate hands here as you can see there um no crunch or upper torso rotation which i think is a complaint of many but he does have his waist swivel down here which you know he can swivel a little bit he can crunch in just a tiny bit and back a little bit he can kick forward about that much outward about that much back not so much you have your upper thigh cut you have your double jointed knees which are very good and then his feet go up about that much back and then you have the ankle pivot there and i'm not sure if he has boot rotation like it seems like maybe it's from here or even up here but I really tried to twist it and it doesn't seem like there's any pivot in there I'm not sure maybe I need to heat them up um, but these are stuck in here if he does have that boot cut in there um, they're stuck in mine so you know I'll have to do some heating up um, after the video which is a bit of a shame now another bit of a shame would be the upper or you know his torso in general you know not being able to crunch forward all that much kind of you know a setback for the figure 
going back, I mean, he can go back a little more. Um, but yeah, that is a setback, so I understand the complaint there. But overall, he does have some good range and some good articulation that you can get him in. Some pretty great poses. Um, but yeah, the torso I understand, and there was a recommendation by my good friend, your casual clone, was to use an extra body base or base body from a classified figure um, that very early on uh, first version Roblox and swap out that entire torso piece and just put it on you know this body the legs and the arms just basically swap out the torso and then you have that added range because this is a separate piece I believe so you could just overlay that on top and whatnot um, so it's definitely a mod I would consider doing you know I'm always afraid of modifying figures because you know they can break and whatnot but you know doing it carefully and whatnot it's something I'm willing to do um, I think another complaint was you know obviously here um, the shirt you know it just has this wide open gap here which yeah sure it looks ugly but um you know I, I don't really pose figures on the side like that and you can kind of hide it a little bit um but yeah you can see still see some gaps in there you know some seams which is a bit of a shame as well but um other than that i can't really criticize the figure too much um i do like it i like how it looks um, you know, his head sculpt has some great, um, you know, detailing going for it. You have that sort of, I don't know, headband going around. Um, just a nice sculpt, nice hair and everything. Um, another thing with that Roblox body, I would have to see if the skin tone matches because I'm not good with paint. So, you know, hopefully they do match. I mean, you can even see how... The body is sort of different compared to the head sculpt so maybe it will be a match i don't know i'll have to see um but yeah overall he looks great you have wrinkles and whatnot i believe a lot of this is kind of a new mold if i remember correctly but um yeah i can't really hate on the figure too much i think it did receive a little too much hate um i'm definitely gonna modify the torso down here you know cut off some of that excess plastic that's if you know the roblox torso doesn't work out but um i can't really hate on the figure too much i think it received too much hate um i know it's not everyone's preferred luke cage look but this is a look i wanted and i'm glad to have it here um some things could have been different could have been you know made a little bit different but it is it is what it is it is what we got and but yeah i'm overall pleased with what we got so what with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this review let me know what you guys think down below and i'll see you guys in a future video and i may make an update video you know showcasing um the roblox torso on this body if that works out um but with that being said i'll see you guys in a future video